Hello and welcome to Good Clean Gaming. I'm your host, Shalindo, and today we're playing some more of Renowned Explorers. And we're going to do it. We're going to do the last expedition, and that's going to be Shangri-La. Uh, in the first campaign, we totally got crushed by the first encounter in Shangri-La, so hopefully this uh, attempt goes better. We're going to go with uh, the research papers. Oh, wait. First, we got an inside token to use. We're going to grab the research with Amelia. That'll let us get as much research as we possibly can. Preparation. We're going to get the two extra tools here. So that's awesome. And then we're going to get the plus one insight. And then the nothing else because we're out of research points. Almost. So close to unlocking two of those. Uh, next we have uh, status. We're going to go ahead and get our entourage built up. Finish recruiting all these helpers. Why not? Okay, next, we're going to get the item shop. So I looked at the items, and some kind of stuck out to me. One that stuck out to me was the tactician's notes, plus 25% to the uh, adjacent enemy's attack power, which is awesome. Uh, I'm still considering other things here. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to go with the Tactician's Notes. And that's Adjacent Allies, so we're going to give that to uh, Amelia because she's the least likely to use her physical attacks. Uh, move down the Zimmy Talisman down to Dolores. And we're going to keep the books. We're not going to replace our weapons, but we're going to replace our armor. We should have enough, if I sell all three of these, we should have enough to get good armor for Charles which is 150 for 15 armor and 5 speech defense, and decent armor for Camellia. Not the best items, but it's all we can afford right now. Okay, and we're going to use that to go to Shangri-La. Now, we could do any of these other campaigns. We could do any of these other expeditions, like this 2-star or this 3-star or you know, really anything, and we'd be able to get enough renown to win this game. But I really want to do Shangri-La. I really want to make this happen. So this is an incredibly perilous expedition. Rivalo has obtained the Shambhala Key of Privilege to open the gate to Shangri-La. If you're fast, you can still collect more Shambhala Keys and get there before him. You will find the toughest challenges of all sorts and kinds, and there is an amazing amount of renown to be gained here. Launch. Now I fully expect to get totally slammed by Shangri-La. If that happens... We have a retry button. I plan on using it. <laughs> We're going to get through this. Uh, this is it. You can finally prove that you are a better explorer than Rivalo. You can do so in none other than the most magical place, Shangri-La, the Himalayan Utopia. It is said that one's dreams come true bit by bit when you're in Shangri-La. Okay. At the center of Shangri-La is the Palace of Sintamani. This orb is the treasure of, tr uh, treasure of mystic proportions on par with the Ark of the Covenant and El Dorado. If you retrieve it, you will go down in history as one of the greatest explorer of all time. Can you see Emilia, Emilia among the illustrious row of Vasco da Gama, Shang He, and Ibn Batuta? A dream come true. But first, you need to beat Rivalo. It is said that the orb can only be obtained with four Shambhala keys. Those will surely give you an advantage at the palace. As you know, Rivalo already has one and will be looking for the keys as well. So it's better to find them before he does. However, you might be able to snatch the orb away from Rivalo even without the keys. No time to lose. Time for adventure. Okay, that unlocks. Those are the temples, I guess. We can get. I'm guessing we can get one key in each of those places. And then it looks like the boss is going to be there. All right. First encounter. Now, the last campaign, the first of in our first campaign, we that we actually made it to Shangri-La. The first encounter totally slammed us. So let's see if it happens again. You arrive at the infamous Cave of the Crane. The cave has some mysterious rooms where one's intelligence is tested by a mysterious entity. If you do it correctly, you will find the Shambhala Key of the Mind. Emilia sure wants to gain a better chance of getting the Sinta, Sintamani. Wait a minute, Explorer. It's Cassandra Shafiq, the scientist of Ravalo's crew. She approaches you quickly and begins her plea. She continues, Explorer, please. I've been sent to get the Shambhala Key, and the challenges in there befit me perfectly, yes? It's best for all of us if I go get it, or else it might be destroyed, no? 
She's determined to take the challenges first. You'll have to convince her one way or the other. Five star encounter. Let's see what we get. I'm scared. I'm so scared. Okay, one, two, three, four. All elite henchmen, it looks like, with 70 uh, spirit. Weak against confident, which we do not have a whole lot of that. Bodyguards, weak against impressed. Cassandra Shafiq, weak against excited. Cassandra will try to stay friendly. Watch out for area of effect treaty. Aggressive characters will be punished after it. So that means, uh, area of effect means we want to be spread out. Aggressive characters means we don't want to be aggressive. Means we want to be, we can't be devious because she's friendly, so we're going to have to go friendly. But that should only be when she's around, I hope. So that means we can go aggressive until she gets close. Okay, how are we going to take out these guys? And let's look at terrain, too. See if there's any good places we can back off into. Um, not particularly. Not the best terrain for us, honestly. And we're surrounded. Awesome. Thinking about my first move here. Okay, I think we're gonna go... I'm gonna try to take out this guy back here. So we're gonna send Amelia over here. Dolores, go there. Charles, go here. And the best order of operations is going to be to make him weak versus speech defense. Like so. And we, I'm hoping we can't fumble. I'm hoping we don't fumble here. But I think there's a good chance Dolores is going to fumble. Uh, excited is next. Ooh, that takes him out completely? Wow! Oh, seriously? I didn't mean to select Dolores. Ah. Uh, okay. She would have had to do something anyway. So we'll have her do confident. <laughs> fumble? Really? I did say she was most li she was likely to fumble. Ah, okay, fine. I'm exasperated. <laughs> We're going to take more damage than we should have. Nineteen more damage than we should have taken. And we're going to be doing less damage because we have to do an extra attack. Great. Great, great, great. That just makes me very happy. Sorry, a little frustrated by that. Whoa, that does a lot of damage. Are they weakened? They are weakened. And she's excited. Yep, Primal Roar time. We can take out that guy the and most of these two. Most of those two. Okay. Yes, worth it, worth it, worth it, worth it, worth it. We're going to end up at the wrong side of this, the wrong side of the rock, paper, scissors. So we're going to have to get back to either aggressive... Well, maybe not. Maybe we can avoid going devious. Yeah, we can avoid going devious here. If we keep it friendly. I'll just have Amelia do her heal because I can't go devious, or else I'll flip us over. We're going to heal Charles. And then we'll have Charles do his... Please do not fumble this, please. I'm going to hit this guy. I think this will work. going to hit that guy. Okay. And in turn. We're staying in friendly mode. Cassandra's getting closer. We're gonna have to spread out when she gets here, so I'm I'm kind of I'm I'm kind of in a hurry to get these guys taken out now. Uh, they have to go this turn. I can't let them survive another turn. Okay.
Confident. Oof, this is gonna be close. If anybody fumbles, this is gonna be bad. Do not fumble. Do not fumble. Do not fumble. Please do not fumble. Thank you, Dolores. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, now I can go, well, I can just walk up and do Excite. And he is gone. All right, next turn we're retreating so we can heal. Since we're, we're now, I, I now consider us at the advantage. Amelia's gonna get hit once. We gotta stay away from uh, Cassandra's um, AOE ability. How far can we run? Run back to here. We can put Charles in the front for now. He's got good speech defense, right? Maybe we can run up. I think we want to run up. Cassandra, oh, Cassandra would go around the top. But the bodyguards would go around the bottom. Ooh. That's not bad. Hmm. But we're going to get hit by Treaty if I do that. So we're going to have to make sure we're ready for it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. We're gonna take we're gonna take the hit from Treaty and hope it doesn't totally decimate us. But it's gonna hopefully pull Cassandra above the top. Body guards go through the bottom. If we can trap Cassandra up top, she won't get the buffs from her bodyguards, and we can just focus on her until she's down. Or maybe even take out the bodyguards on the other side, depending on what what happens. This could be a horrible idea. Hopefully it won't be a horrible idea though. Okay, move up. Emilia, heal Dolores. Dolores, heal Emilia. Charles, stand there and look cool. Done. No problem. Oh, she didn't use it. Single target ability. Nice. Okay, we gotta get ourselves healed as much as possible. So I'm gonna go for the Tranquility now. Okay, now we're full on health. What can we do to Cassandra? Cassandra's weak against Excited and strong against Enraged or Terrified. Pretty much have to go friendly with her, I think. We can make her impressed. And then... Confident, I suppose. The other one she's not going to be as strong against. Yeah, we'll go confident. Fumble! Dolores! Okay, here comes the treaty. I just know it. It's the right time to use it. Ow. At least you made us super excited. Uh, what next? Impressed again? I really want to move Amelia away from the bodyguards. But then Charles would have to move down and use Impress, which is a two-tile target, so that actually makes sense. We can do that. Yes. Yes, that's what we're doing. Okay, go up there and Impress. 
Okay, nice. We're gonna move Charles down because we want to keep this these bodyguards from coming through here. So we're kind of trapping them down there. This it kind of invalidates this back bodyguard, so he can't actually help. And we're gonna continue impressing her. And then Dolores. Please don't fumble this time. <laughs> Dolores, you're ruining this entire attempt. What's wrong with you? <laughs> no! <laughs> Alright, that, that forces us to let the bodyguard in because we gotta get Amelia up. Charles in this way. Actually, we'll move Dolores. It's so hard to decide. Yeah, Dolores in this way. Revive. Yay! Amelia. Yeah. Amelia moves in. Let's see, this does uh, armor, speech, defense reduction. She can do excited, though. Excited is awesome. Nice, we're close, we're close, we're close, we're close. What can you do? Can you get rid of her? Not yet. Next turn, Cassandra goes down. I think. Pretty sure. Pretty sure we got this. Unless something crazy happens. In turn. Now let's hope we don't lose too many people. Don't want to lose too much resolve here. Thank you! Thank you for the fumble. One more fumble. One more fumble. <laughs> oh, Ugh, lost the resolve. Sandra, don't hurt me too bad here. Hey. I'll take it. Goodbye, Cassandra. Yahoo! <laughs> A little bit of health left. Um, Dolores, uh, don't miss this time with your with your pin maneuver because you can't miss. <laughs> oh, that felt good. Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. Cassandra lies on the floor, beaten and bruised. It's difficult to complete challenges when you can hardly walk. Time to face the challenges of the Cave of the Crane and get that Shambhala key. Towards the challenge. You enter the cave and the door is shut behind you. The crew walks on in the cold mist until you encounter a massive closed gate. You hear a clunky, mysterious voice. What are the most important elements for life? God, love, and mercy. Cute. Now answer the remaining 99 questions. If a turtle loses his shell, is he homeless or naked? Oh boy, it seems you're, st uh, you're stuck answering the, all these questions. Who will give the final answers? Amelia. 81% chance. So, 4 out of 5 says no skull. Thank you. It takes you about an hour, but Amelia manages to find all the correct answers to the 100 questions. The voice is impressed. Very well. You are a know-it-all. You may proceed. The gate opens. Proceed quickly. There it is. The Shambhala Key of the Mind you've been looking for. It sits waiting for you to take it. Shambhala Key of the Mind. Take treasure. That's it. This key is uh, in your possession, improving your chances to get the uh, Sintamani. You leave the Cave of the Crane and the questions behind to continue your grand adventure. Okay. Seven resolve left. We're going to go straight for these temples. Nothing else. We're not going to get distracted by goodies everywhere. You see a light-footed banana running with a bag. That's right, a banana. Hey, it's Kwame. A quick athlete may be able to catch it before it gets away and see if there's anything of value inside the bag. Negative 5 speech if she doesn't do it. 59% chance if we fail, we lose a resolve. I'm going to use a tool here. 84% chance. I don't want to lose that resolve at all. Nice. Barely. Dolores runs after the banana, who gets nervous. The banana is fast, but sees Dolores getting closer by the minute. The banana is fast, but not that fast, especially not with the burden of the bag. 
which the banana drops. The banana is gone, but you did get the bag, which was full of coin. Dolores feels quite alive, which raises attack for this expedition. Okay, we're going to head over to this temple here. Who are we going to fight next? You arrive at the temple of Yabyum, the symbol of love. Your deepest desires come to life here. If Amelia is correct, one of the Shambhala keys must be somewhere in this temple. You have to be careful, for the trap of seduction is said to be laid out here. Enter the temple. You enter the temple. Goodness gracious, it's crawling with beautiful and charming people. They welcome the crew with undeniable warmth. Welcome, beautiful, intelligent, and sweet people. Please join us and allow us to adore you. You must get across the room to continue, but this offer is, offer is tempting. Try to cross the room. This is going to be impossible for the crew members who are either gullible or want to be famous. Amelia can't resist all the nice compliments and all those beautiful people in adoration. Could Amelia finally have made it into heaven? Gullible and fame-seeking crew members won't be able to get to the other side. The crew moves forward while politely thanking all the people, but the crew's determination is faltering. This isn't going well. Uh, hey, it's lightning outside. Sweet. Uh, there's a gong on the other side of the room. Striking it is said to stop this beguiling madness. All hope rests on one person to win the battle of charms or iron will. Someone is going to do the battle with charms. Let's see what we got here. You can't be impressed if you're the most impressive around. You can try to cross the room using charm. Uh, which crew member is going to fight beauty with beauty? Dolores has a 19% chance. Nope. Iron will. There's no other way. Someone has to make the final attempt to break through this pit of seduction on pure wit and will. Amelia is too busy being schmoozed. Uh, yeah, let's... Negative one resolve if we fail. 34% chance. Let's use a tool. 59% chance. So we have less than two out of three. I don't like those odds. Please, 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 please. No! Dolores' will, Dolores will falters. The crew gets pulled into the abyss of pleasantries and smoozing. After an unknown number of hours, the beautiful people disappear as illusions. This can only mean that someone else has gotten the Shambhala key. Disappointed in their own resolve, the crew continues exploring elsewhere. Ah! Okay, head towards the next one. That's frustrating. Whoa. A group of Ravalo's henchmen is running around frantically. We saw it. We saw a Yeti. You must hear me out. Uh, there's no such thing as a Yeti. Uh, Yeti? Really? Tell me more. Yes, we wrote down some useful notes. We should find him in the honor of Rivalo. Uh, that's not going to happen. You need to convince them just to give you the information they have. All right. Was really hoping to avoid that. No bonuses to anything. Whoa, that's some lightning. Okay. Henchman, henchman, henchman. Henchman, 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 henchman. He's hen. Oh, uh, okay. The henchmen in the back are different from the henchmen in the front. So the male henchmen are better against physical attacks. The female henchmen are weak against excited, and are generally weak against physical attacks. So we need to use some confident. I feel like we need to run away to the left, kind of take down that flank, so we can get them all in front of us. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Let's plan this out. Emilia here. Charles here. Dolores here. They are devious, which means we'll be stronger than them if we go friendly, and we could also go devious and be in good shape. Check some abilities. Primal Roar would take out a lot of their health right off the bat might be worth it just to weaken this side by doing that. Yeah, I'd kind of like to do that. They can go and cool down for three turns and then come back later. Group insult four turns and come back later. And then we can take out one of these guys, hopefully, with Amelia. Friendly. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, we got five, six left, but he's going down next turn. K 
Okay. Weak. You guys can't hit for anything. And Charles is getting jumped on. Let's, uh, let's see what we can do here. Do a lot of damage with the ride. I say we move Charles up here to get some health on the next turn. The ride on this guy. Then we'll have Dolores do probably a Terrify. And then Amelia can finish off this guy. Kind of want to do... This right here, Amelia here, and that should give attack up aura. Physical attacks get stronger. Okay. Makes sense so far. I think I'm gonna save the ride if we can get if we can get this guy down without it. Let's go confident. Nice hit. And then switched over to friendly. Which should give it that gives us higher speech defense. We want that. And we can do a devious here just to make sure it hits. I don't want to miss this one. And then we'll do a friendly with Amelia. Nice. That took one of the devious away, so that's that's a good way to reset that. Those pips up there. Everyone's being nice, so they switched over to friendly, so I can switch over to physical attacks. If I want to. Don't have to. I just don't want to go devious now. Ow. Okay, I feel like I want to heal Charles a bit with Amelia. And then switch to attacks, physical attacks. Ooh, can I get over here and attack these guys? That would be awesome. Physical attack. Physical attack. Physical attack. These guys are weak versus armor. So I kind of want to move Dolores over and have her uh, take out one of these if she can do it in one shot. Yeah, I'm going to have her move here. She has Primal Roars on one turn cooldown, and so if, she, if they stay around her, then she can do Primal Roar and do a lot of damage. Can she take one of these? Oh, yes, she can. They're going down. At least one of them is. Let's take down this one on the flank. 71. All right, now we're over into plus 20 speech defense. We can almost take out another one. I'm gonna reduce one of their attacks because they're gonna attack Dolores probably and I'm gonna at least reduce their ability to damage her. Awesome. Devious abilities are now stronger, so we're going to pop over to Devious. Ow. 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 Is that all you got? We do Tranquility across all three areas. Let's do uh, Primal Roar over here since everybody's collected. Nice. Got the advantage again. Plus 25 grit. And a tranquility. All three of them. Look at that. Stretching that circle out as far as it'll go. Charles. Do your thing, chicken wing. Do something else. 
to um, see devious. Yes. Okay, in turn. Got one more ad left, and she can't really do anything against this, I don't think. Miss. Love it. Get rid of her. Da 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 da. Nailed it. Broke your opponent's minds. The henchmen run away in tears, leaving behind useful notes on the Yeti and some supplies to boot. Two supplies for study. Sweet. Okay. Looks like we're going. I'm going straight in for that temple. I'm not going to try to go around or anything. Straight in for the temple. Unexplored. There's a fighter challenge here. There's an ep maybe an epic encounter. Treasure or items may be present. There's something odd here. Let's see what happens. What a magnificent sight! Mount Kailash. Uh, with the recent banana infestation, the Chosen Ones need to climb the mountain and meditate on the problem. You can always come back and attempt to climb later. Um, we're the Chosen Ones. Start the climb. You betcha. The first part of Mount Kalash stands before you. It's going to be very tough to climb. You're sure you won't make it in one go. Zero percent? Your odds for a future event increases by 15 percent. Peak not reached and something bad can happen. Reach the top. Okay. Let's just try. I, I imagine Dolores would be our best climber. Give up on climbing. No, we're not going to give up. Crew stumbles and falls and is mercifully battered by the elements, but you get a little closer. Dolores is tired of taking the lead, which will only pass when you rest and go to another area. Okay, let's have Charles uh, do some climbing. The crew stumbles and falls. Charles is tired of taking the lead, which will only pass once you get to another area. Okay, let's have Amelia lead. Negative 25 armor on the event. The crew prepares for the next mile. Still have a big climb. Let's use the tool. Should we use the tool? I don't know. I really need my tools. You have one tool left if you succeed. If you fail the challenge, the tool will not be consumed. Might as well use the tool. 60% chance for Dolores. Fail. Keep the tool. Continue. 69% chance for Dolores. We're going to make it up this thing. It kills all of you. Okay. 53%. I'm not going to keep using the tool. Try again. I made it. And I saved a tool. You've done it. You finally reached the top of Mount Kailash. The crew looks around frantically for a solution to the banana inv invasion going on. What banana invasion? Uh, then Charles makes an unbelievable find. It's Padmashambhava. Padmashambhava. The legendary Buddhist. Ah, chosen ones, and in particular you, Charles the Skeptic. Your inquisitive nature has l uh, led you to this fateful event. Can you call yourself Bodhisattva, enlightened in the path of Buddha? Charles' beliefs waver. If he becomes an enlightened Bodhisattva, Bodhisattva, he will gain 25% spirit, which will be more health, and always be excited. Um, and this will give him speech defense permanently increased by 15. I'm going to go with enlightened, because uh, permanent excited is awesome. The bliss of absolute knowledge takes over Charles. A very special Buddhist is born. Padmasabha smiles modestly. Now, if the Chosen Ones come to visit me, it must mean that the valleys are being overrun by bananas, correct? Um, yes, but how have you survived up here? <laughs> he ignores the question. I see. Thank, uh, thank you for proving your worth. I just turned all bananas into gold with my knowledge. Okay, that explains nothing. You can collect them if you want with some of these magic berries. Although all of those pursuits are fruitless, of course. Bananas turned into gold. Can't get much weirder. I, I have to agree with that. 
Before you descend, I want you to take the sacred token down to Earth. It should prove, uh, provoke the thoughts of all mortals. The Dharma Chakra of Padashmavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavavav
It's Rivalo and his crew. They start, uh, they come bursting in from the other side. Ha ha, it seems we're just in time, crew. It's beautiful to see that some of our most diehard fans have gathered here to see us collect the greatest treasure of all. Uh, there we go again. Explain that this treasure is your find. Rivalo laughs. Is that so? Why won't we let the ancestors of this place decide? Let us activate the Shambhala Keys. I'll start with the Shambhala Key of Privilege. Hoo He pulls out the Shambhala Key and the surroundings transform. The place is adapting in accordance to Ravalo's dreams with statues of him all over the place. Typical. Ravalo parts his, pats his fighter Tommy on the back. My good friend Tommy here also found this little thing, the Shambhala Key of Strength. Can't, that's the one I missed. Ravalo activates it and you can see his body becoming tougher and stronger. Good God. I look even more be better, <laughs> even better than before. I can feel the strength flowing through my beautiful veins. The extremely competent Amir Akhtar, my trusted scout, found this, the Shambhala Key of Heart. Ravalo activates it. Amir, I'm so charming right now. I think I'm in love with myself. Ha 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 ha. No, seriously. Amelia takes out the final key, the Shambhala Key of Mind. Your crew feels their determination surging. Rivalo is delighted with this development. It's great for you that you found the key. You could surely use it more than me. Can't believe I didn't get the key of strength. Now that the keys have been activated, the only thing left is uh, uh, here is the Sentamani. Amelia and Rivalo look at each other, then the or at the orb, then back at each other. It's time to see who deserves the orb. It's time to talk this out, break their will, fight. Well, they have the might, and they have... Uh, let's see, there's Devious, and then there's going to be Friendly. We're going to go Devious because that's our strong suit, I believe. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm losing those, losing that key when it was right in reach. I'm aggravated. Can't believe I let that happen. Okay, best chance of winning. Check out Rivalo. Rivalo is weak to impressed. He has high, wow, he has some high defenses. Look at these buffs. Plus 25 armor, plus 10 attack power. Damage taken from sad and terrified and enraged. Terrified, nullified. Key of heart. Revelon's crew is uh, against devious emotions and a boost to speech. Great, he's strong against devious. With that stupid key of heart. Um, armor and attack, so he's strong against... We have to go friendly. To stand a chance. Impressed, he's weak against impressed. I got excited. I got impressed. He's not even... He's even strong, uh, resistant against confident. Enraged. Terrified. Terrified immunity. Man. Okay. Amir. Okay, so he's gonna go... Let's see. Thing is, he'll go friendly, devious, or aggressive. Whatever he needs to do. Amir Akhtar wants to go devious. Watch out for his destroy confidence ability that now hits any negative character with double power. Okay. Tommy wants to use aggressive area of effect shattering strike. She wants to use friendly. Watch out for her area of effect peace diplomacy that can shut down your aggression. We gotta go friendly though. This is really clogged back here. I like the way this looks. I wonder if we can funnel them into, like, this area down here. Or at least into this area right here. I'm going to try this. I'm going to try to get them to just funnel in here. And we're going to have to use friendly abilities, yes? That would mean we'd want to have Charles in the back, Amelia, and Dolores up front. Or we can go devious, but he's immune to some devious stuff, like terrified. We'll have to see. Okay, we're going to start with that. Charles to the back. Amelia to the front here. Dolores to the front here. We're going to excite. He's already always permanently excited, so we're going to excite Dolores. And Dolores is going to make Amelia confident. We're going to buff each other up. And then we're going to hope that they are stupid enough to funnel in this way and not down here. If they funnel in down here, I can do the same thing. I just have to rotate my crew a little bit. Okay. I really hope this works. 
Tommy's going down. Yep, they're going down. Amelia's going up. Oh, sorry, Amir. That's not ideal. So if they all funnel into here, I bet I can go in, in the back here and get them to follow me. Thinking, 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 thinking. Yep, Charles here. Emilia, Emilia. Dolores here, Emilia here. So hopefully they'll flow in this way. And I can just start pounding them from protected area. From a protected spot. Confident. Let's keep Amelia healed up. Okay. And turn. I don't like being impressed. That's not good. Rivalo, you're way, way in back. I don't want to be pounding you with your with the abilities, but you're too far away. Whoa, 54 damage. Um, hmm. We're not in a good place here. I want to turn Dolores back to excited. How much damage are we gonna do? Yeah, we're not doing any damage. Those keys are just gonna having him having both those keys. If I could have got both those keys, we would have we would be in a lot better shape. But we're not in good shape here. This may not be winnable at this point, and that's kind of sad. Okay, keep healing Amelia, and they've gone friendly, which means we need to go. We can't be devious. They've already switched over. Already? Man. We need to go aggressive. But there's no way we can go aggressive when they're at range right now. So I'll just hit him with a devious since we have to do something. Okay, in turn. Cassandra, why are you in, why are you in there? Taking so much damage right now. And they're all ranged. They are all ranged. And one shotting Dolores. Awesome. Five Dolores. We had such a good run. Such an awesome run. But then that stupid, this, me, me missing the, 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 the key of strength, and then uh, missing out on the key of heart on that roll, I think that's going to do us in. Is she completely stunned? Speech, defense, attack. Stunned. She can't do anything. Okay. In turn. He, they can almost one-shot us. These are these are the this is the strongest defensive characters in the game, and they're, they're almost one-shotting us right now. Mm. Revive. Let's see if we can switch over into friendly mode. I don't think we can. Sorry for sounding so negative, but man. Really thought we had this one. <laughs> okay, that's all the stuff we have. We got Cassandra halfway down. Again, almost one shotting us. So bad.
Gotta do friendly again, don't we? And she's stunned, isn't she? No, she's, uh, she's down. Revive. Yeah, revive. I wish it would, when you revived, it would re renew your cooldowns and everything. Um, we gotta take down Cassandra. <laughs> okay, physical attacks have plus 50% power. Oh, come on. Nothing to terrify. Can't use the group stuff. Unless he crits on this, I, I, she's going to be alive in the next turn. Please crit, please crit, please crit. Ugh. Man. Three resolve left. get Cassandra out of this. We can go aggressive to get a little, bo little, a little boof, a little buff. Plus 20 speech defense. And Amelia will have to use a devious, I suppose. What's he weak against? He's weak against confident. heal myself here. Now what I can hope is that Amir comes forward before Tommy does, but if Tommy comes forward, then we're toast. And Tommy comes forward. I just, I can't win. Just can't win. Tommy, uh, Amir coming forward would have made Rivalo buff Tommy, Tommy not be able to attack, and Amir being the only active attacker. This means that we are pretty much done for. I'll go ahead and heal us up. Give us a little bit of a chance. Go after Rivalo at all? Oh, we're all we're all done with our turns anyway. Ah, oh, they just switched to the Escalator, which is gonna make us weaker. Ouch. Yep. After Rivalo, he's weak to impressed. Doesn't actually do that much damage to him. That is a pain. At least we can go for it, though. Do some damage to him. Fumble. Ah. <sighs> I, I, there are no words. <laughs> Try to be devious. Yeah. Run away! We'll have Dolores bring up the rear and hopefully reduce some damage we take. Leave us alone. Oh, there it goes. 
There is no chance. They are so strong. I gotta get a better. I've gotta get a better crew. Right? There's no way I can take those guys down. Got to the very end. Ah. Okay. All right. Tomorrow, there will be a new episode, a new campaign. I'm starting a new crew, and I'm gonna optimize it to beat this game. You're so close here. There's just a couple things I want to I want to fix up. I want to go more research. I want to go more gold. And I think between those two things, we should be able to make this happen. So join me tomorrow for the next start of the next campaign. This is going to work. This is going to happen. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to click that subscribe button if you're interested in seeing more videos like this. And remember, keep it clean.